Hola amigos, this is Level 12 and today we are going to talk about the differences I've seen between being on YouTube and being on TikTok. Now I th I'm pretty sure there's a couple videos like in the past of me whinging about TikTok and what it used to be musically. After I've been on it, I don't think it's that bad. I think if I gave Tumblr the same chance, I wouldn't like hate on Tumblr as much as I do. But Tumblr confuses me and TikTok is very easy to learn how to use. So first we're just going to talk about my personal stats. So I have been on YouTube for a while. <laughs> Not long enough to remember when it had the star rating, but... Long enough to remember PewDiePie before he had a million subscribers. That is about how long I've been on this wonderful thing called YouTube. Um, I've been posting since around 2016, 2017. Um, in that time span of roughly five years, I have 200 plus videos, over half a million views. Most of that comes from one single video, so don't be too impressed. And over 4,000 subscribers. In the grand scheme of YouTube things, I don't have a thriving channel, but I do have a channel that gives me some shekels uh, to pay for one college textbook. Love that. Um, but I do it for fun. I started it for fun, and it's just, it's a, it's a journey. It's an experience. Um, so, YouTube... It is nothing but a video sharing platform. It does have a way for you to edit videos on there, and it does have live stream capabilities. But YouTube at its core is just a platform to upload videos under its guidelines. TikTok is a little bit different. So I've been on TikTok since, well, I had a Musical.ly account, right? Had a Musical.ly account um, back when I was in like fifth or sixth grade and I never touched it until November slash December of 2020 because I got very bored and no longer wanted to watch just Good Omen cosplay compilations on YouTube because I wanted to see more of them and they were all showing the same ones after you get like through three videos. You either get Russian TikToks or you see the same grouping of English Good Omen cosplay TikTok compilations. Anyways, so I've been posting for about the same amount of time. All I post on there is cosplays. I feel like there's a big difference between what I post on YouTube and TikTok. YouTube is more, not scripted, but more like thought-provoking videos. And TikTok is just me do-do-do being on the sounds and cosplaying. Which, there's completely different sides of, um, sides of TikTok that you can be on and yada yada yada. So at the time of recording this, I have 24 videos up. I think next time I record, I might have 27? right? Three? Yeah. Because it'll be another week and I do rows of three Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But at this time, I have 24 videos up, 579 likes, which is nothing special. TikTok's algorithm is very weird, which is something I will talk about later. But um, I am very small on TikTok and 52 followers with an asterisk. Well, 4K subscribers probably needs an asterisk as well. Uh, some of those followers are dead or my friends. Most of them are like backup accounts for my friends and stuff like that. Same with the 4K subscribers. I know I have some dead subscribers on here that are subscribed but don't watch my videos because I can see the view count and I'm not an idiot. But that's basically my stats on YouTube and TikTok. I'm small on YouTube. I'm small on TikTok and it's very fun. It is fun when the, when a video randomly blows up on TikTok. It's instant euphoria, but we will talk about all of that in a second. So how do these two separate platforms operate? So I want to talk about the YouTube homepage, the TikTok for you page, and then the subscription pages of each. So as you can see, this is my YouTube homepage. I had to click, uh, I had to like refresh it a little bit um, because some of the videos on there were not quite appropriate, but it's fine. Um, so the YouTube homepage basically works as showing you new content that you might not be subscribed to. And then most the rest of it is mostly either videos you have not watched from your subscription page yet or videos you have watched that YouTube is just recommending to you because it doesn't know what else to recommend to you. Um, I mostly use it to find random songs if I don't feel like going through one of my many, many playlists. Uh, I will go on the YouTube homepage and then scroll until I find a random song it gives me. Sometimes I do click on the new videos, which is how I, um, get new people to follow on YouTube. Um, it is not, 
It's a little jank, not gonna lie. I think the more people you subscribe to on YouTube, the less relevant the homepage becomes, and you're just, like, hoping to stumble upon a new random channel. Uh, listen, I subscribe to over 100 channels. Um, I have a lot of content coming in daily, so YouTube is very strange. The YouTube homepage is not that helpful when you're subscribed to so many people because it comes to a point where it, it has no choice, especially if you're subscribed to a lot of big channels, which is what the homepage is also partly for, is to show you the popular videos or just sometimes really random stuff too. Um, is to show you those videos and it's it's very strange and it doesn't work the more channels you're subscribed to because it just it it wigs out a little bit um the tiktok for you page however operates a little bit differently I tiktok for you page um, in my experience, if it's the first or second time I've opened the app for that day, it'll show me some videos from people I follow, but mostly the TikTok For You page shows you videos of random things. Um, the TikTok For You page, from how I've seen it works, is in a little bit multitude faceted way. It shows you popular videos, it shows you videos that are similar to ones you like, which is what we call the sides of TikTok. Like I'm very much on college student TikTok, teacher TikTok, cosplay TikTok, and for the longest time I was on D&D TikTok, but not so much anymore. And uh, sometimes it just shows you random stuff from smaller like content creators that is similar to things you like. The TikTok for you page I feel like is curated very nicely, but you can also randomly get yeeted into random sides of TikTok, like Chalky Milk TikTok. One of my friends almost put me on Chalky Milk TikTok. And your for you pages can look vastly different. Just like your YouTube homepage is gonna look vastly different, your TikTok for you page is gonna look vastly different. Now the big difference between the TikTok for you page and the YouTube homepage is that Rarely do I ever see repeats on my For You page. Now, the one I showed you scrolling on my desktop, those were all videos I had seen before because it it wigs out on the desktop, and I don't know why, mostly because it's in... <laughs> YouTube was made to go on desktop and mobile, TikTok was not. That's why all the videos are vertical. And I really like that aspect of the For You page, and like, it's not like you see one creator and you'll never see them again. You'll occasionally see popular creators multiple times on your For You page, and it's very interesting. I really like, uh, well, not necessarily like, I think it's fun how the TikTok For You page works. However, just like with like YouTube, there is a search bar in TikTok. However, I rarely use the search bar for tags or whatever. Tags, in my opinion, are more like telling TikTok that your video belongs on this side of TikTok. Like I always tag my videos cosplay, so it yeets me to the cosplay, so it yeets my videos and myself to the cosplay side of TikTok. And the For You page also works in multiple ways, unlike how I think the home page works. Like if you like a lot of videos in cosplay and you comment on a lot of cosplay people, that will one, get you to cosplay TikTok, but also get that creator to cosplay TikTok as well, because it's like, hmm, all of these people want to be on the same side of TikTok. I think it's a really interesting way the TikTok for you page works. Um, and I know some people like think it's jank, but I, I think it's fun. I think it's a fun little mythical journey. So the next thing to talk about is the YouTube subscription page. And as of March 19th, this is what my YouTube subscription page looks like. Nothing fancy. Again, I subscribe to a lot of channels, so it's gonna look like a hodgepodge of things. But the YouTube subscription page works nicely. I love how the YouTube subscription page works. I know there's some people that are like, hey, I, d I don't see you in my subscription box. That has never happened to me. Like I've never had a creator just disappear from my YouTube subscription page when I'm still subscribed to them. I don't know what's happening to those people and those creators, but I think it's a big conspiracy. Anyways, um, like fewer and fewer apps are doing <laughs> the youtube subscription page is in chronological order let me let me just like bask in the glory of chronological order i'm on instagram and twitter and none of my posts are in chronological order the stories aren't in chronological order nothing nothing is in chronological order and it bothers me because and it bothers me even more with like instagram now because like once you've scrolled what they've considered is you haven't seen before it'll be like ah 
here's here's the random feed, you know? Like, it, it bothers me to no end how Instagram works now. But I really like that it's in chronological order because I can, like, decide what I want to watch. Have I seen it yet? How long ago was it? All of, all of that jazz. And that's why I love the YouTube subscri subscription page. It works like a dream. So next we're going to talk about the TikTok follower page once again. The TikTok follower page is where I think TikTok is the most jank and broken. <laughs> so the TikTok follower page works kind of like the YouTube subscription page. It'll notify you when there's like new videos that were just posted that day. But especially when you don't follow a lot of people on there, it will show you videos from months ago. It is March and I sometimes still get videos from creators from like November 2020. I saw one video in February of the creator talking about how like they can't wait for 2020 to end and it just, it, it's real trippy. And sometimes the TikTok follower page won't show you people you're following for months on end. There was this one time, there's a cosplayer I like called Salty Soul Cosplays. I think that's the name. I'll, I'll link their page in the description below. They're, I, I, they're very nice. But one day I got nothing but their cosplays over and over and over again. And don't get me wrong, love their cosplays. I think they're great. I follow like 40 people, <laughs> which for some of you doesn't sound like a lot. And considering some of them haven't posted in months, it's not really a lot, but it's so annoying when I can't see people I follow because I mostly follow cosplayers because I love looking at cosplayers. Cosplayers are so cool. And it's like, why are you jank and broken like this? So people complain about the For You page, but the follower page is even worse. Like, it's very strange. Sometimes I'll get a video that says posted four hours ago and then I scroll up to get, you know, a new video and it was like, posted in December 2020 and I'm like where is the consistency I know like TikTok can't do it the same way YouTube does it or even Instagram because of its format but like could you try a little bit harder I don't know it just bothers me that's how it works and again the bigger issue I have is sometimes I won't see creators that I follow for months there are some creators I don't follow because I'm afraid of no longer seeing their content because once you follow a creator you're less likely to see them on your for you page Madness. The TikTok is madness. So, after all of that, which do I like better? Well, there are aspects that I like about each platform. YouTube uh, allows you to post more than 60 seconds. Um, so I'm able to do deeper dive videos, and I've seen people do deep dives on TikTok, but it's like... TikTok has ruined my attention span for that app, and if your video is 60 seconds long and you don't get to the point within the first, like, 10, I'd scroll. <laughs> That's another, like, problem I have with TikTok is it kills your attention span. Like, virtual learning and TikTok have killed my attention span, and it is all my fault, but I can still blame other things for my shortcomings. Anyways... Um, I think overall, for the longevity of it all, I think YouTube is the better bet. One, because TikTok was threatened to get banned back in August of 2020. Remember when that happened? We all love that. But I do like TikTok's aspect of anyone can do it. YouTube is really dominated by 19 to 30 year olds. Like, that's the range that dominates YouTube and that's the range that watches YouTube. TikTok, however, has attracted an audience of children and adults, like, on their deathbed, <laughs> old people. It has attracted old people. And because of the way the For You page works, you get the whole spectrum. And it's super fun. And I think TikTok is just a really fun app. And I know people make fun of the old people that are on TikTok, like the adults that are out there and vibing. And sometimes it is a little cringy, but overall, I think they're just having fun. Like, they're gonna keel over in, like, three days. Let old Aunt Martha have fun on TikTok. Like... <laughs> Why are you so pressed about it? And I think TikTok's a fun little experiment and it's and it definitely has a place in this weird quarantine world we're going on into for a year. And I know a lot of people got into TikTok because it was one of the few things they could do from their house in quarantine time. Um, something that bothers me about TikTok is I've heard a lot of people say once they get on the creator fund, it's a lot harder for them to make money or for their videos to be seen when 
Yeah. Tedcock also has a problem with people claiming they're shadow banned. I kind of can tell when some people I follow are shadow banned. I, th I find shadow banning very, like, weird, and I don't always believe that's the case. Just sometimes your interest wanes, and that happens, but whatever. Uh, I don't really like one better or the other. They have their place. Like, I would never post my cosplay stuff on YouTube because, one, it takes so much effort to edit on my desktop. To get it from my phone to my desktop to YouTube is such a process. TikTok, it's an all-in-one deal where I can film in the app, I can edit in the app, and I can upload in the app. It's such a different vibe and different culture, and I think they're both fun to do on their own. I think TikTok really is good for small businesses, cosplayers and just random funny videos. <laughs> YouTube is better for long haul content, tutorials, story times, how to's. I mean, there are some people that can get away with story times on TikToks, but they're both different apps and they're both fun in their own ways. And yeah, if you haven't tried TikTok for whatever reason, or you don't even have to post, just go on there and have some fun. I will say TikTok, if you're, you're on there for like one to two plus hours, it'll give you like a wellness video and they're so fake. They always make me laugh. But they're just like, hey, you've been on TikTok for a while, maybe get off. And it's just like, you made an addicting app. <laughs> there has to be some studies on how TikTok is very addicting, but in any event. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to talk about how the differences I've had on YouTube and TikTok. One other thing I forgot to mention is TikTok has a draft system, which is how I was posting at school for weeks. And my friends just thought I had my cosplay stuff at school. But anyways, I just thought it was fun to tell the difference between YouTube and TikTok. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more random fandom things. Ciao, chicos.